Welcome everyone to the Puff Drink Talk podcast. I'm your host today, Conrad Schubach. Hello, puffers, drinkers, and talkers. This is George. <laughs> and today's going to be only the two of us. Yeah. All right, that's going to be fun. Yeah. Limited crew, but uh, for good reason. Exactly, for good reasons. Yeah. So uh, Hilton is out. He's at a trade show in Las Vegas, which is always fun and cool to go go to. Yeah. Have you ever done right. a trade show or been to like a no, big convention I center? Haven't, I, I, I haven't. I haven't ever been to Nevada, there, actually. Really? Yes. Oh. So, I used to. I used you to go this year. Yeah. yeah. You got to go to Vegas. Yeah. Well, you yeah. got to go to Vegas. I mean, I mean, just like I would include the whole state. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> well, I don't say Las Vegas. You know, like, no, yeah. Well, when you say, like, Las Vegas is at the very bottom. Right. I used to live in Reno, which is kind of up I know, towards I know, the top. Yeah, I know, and, I know, but, yeah. yeah. Other than that, it's just straight desert. Gets You get married in, in Las Vegas and. Divorced and you're split in Reno. And divorce in Reno, so <laughs> that's what they say. It's that car ride. It's that, yeah, right. It's that ten hour exactly. car ride. That you're just you're like, you saying? know what? What the hell did I do? Yeah. <laughs> you see that? Yeah. So yeah. so yeah, so Hilton is in Las Vegas and our dear friend Dylan is actually out sick with COVID. COVID, man, yeah. I I, I asked him like how he was and it he, he was asymptomatic. You no, know, he said, No, like I'm feeling all the you know like all the symptoms he, he was saying he was yeah. like he couldn't even move which is so funny because you know when you when you were asking about all of the symptoms he he was telling me all of the symptoms like but he didn't say in like the group chat all of the symptoms that he no. was experiencing yeah no he was saying he had like this weird urge to vote democrat and like oh no oh my god <laughs> i was thinking oh. so seriously <laughs> oh i mean that's what that's what dylan said I, yeah, I mean, yeah. probably it, it usually that's that's what happened when you're sick, then you get some medicine. Yeah, then you get, you know, like you get better. Right. But this you have the Joe Biden at first. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is it? You're, you're, you're is really, it though? Are you, is are it you though? thinking straight? Are is you the though? Roomba? <laughs> is it though? <laughs> Anyways, we're just Joshua. Yeah. Right? <laughs> but anyways, well, yeah. So um, let's get into what we're smoking today. Yeah, right. So, as usual, right, I'm bringing uh, another piece from the La Familia Perez Carrillo. Okay. Right? So, um, I'm, I'm a big fan of them. Mm-hmm. And I smoked the Pledge, which is one of, I think, my favorite. Yeah. Which it was a 9.98 rate from the, the that, that website, the Cigar Aficionado. Right. Right. So, and then my second bat, my fa- my second choice was have always been the uh, the allegiance, mm. but this one is the pledge of, Alli- of allegiance. There you go. So um, I'm very excited. It's supposed to be super noble, you know. So I am excited to show see the it. band to the camera. Oh so yeah. Oh yeah. See it. Oh, you can see it right, right. There you go. Looks pretty. Yeah, it does. It has this big protection here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah right. That condom out of there. <laughs> but I like those box press. I love box press cigars. It's got to smell even from over yes. here. Like I can smell it from here. All my experiences always stay, take me to the to the field, to the countryside. You yeah. Know? Like, yeah. This one, just give me that. Straight there. off the plantation. They just yeah. picked it, aged it, yes. rolled it, and there you That's go. That's going to be, you know, it's like dirt manure yeah all together yeah right so all the all the yeah. finer things in life mm-hmm. right there yeah so this is what well, i would say this is how a farm smells for me yeah <laughs> yeah you know what i'm saying oh yeah no yeah. i i hear you i so i'm gonna go back later and we're gonna, when i tie it on okay let's see, let's see how that's gonna be are you gonna do a uh what kind of uh cut are you gonna i do? forget my the punch and yeah then, it's not the punch actually remember that the hole the hole yes yeah. you still have, but you still don't, don't, don't given, haven't given a name for that. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. Hilton would know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so probably I'm just going to do a punch. Do you, do you know um, which one? This one I, here? Well, that's a V cut. Oh, V cut, yeah. And this one, I think. It could be a V cut. Mm. I like V cuts. Yeah. I, I do like V cuts. But this one also does have. Is it this one? This the one punch. does have the, the punch. Yeah, so you can do you the see, whole. Yeah, I, I do prefer. Yeah. This one for this type of cigar. Me. 
And, and everyone has their own preferences with cigars. And exactly. That type of cuts. Exactly. For box press, I prefer the V cut. Yeah. For whatever yeah. reason, I get more airflow out of it. So, or I, that's it right. seems to be for me and for you. You like the you, the punch. Yeah. That's it. Well, cool. All right. And you, what are, we, what are you going to smoke? Uh, I am going to be smoking ah, my pipe again. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oof. Sticking it with the old school. It's a yeah. drizzly, rainy weather. Wow. Seafaring weather. Mm-hmm. So you, uh, you know, you got you to gotta smoke one of those. So. All right. Well, let's get I'm into good. lighting this up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, look at the look at this. I can already see that. Mm-mm-mm. Very thin line. It's looking good. Oh, it smells good. I know it does. Okay, chocolate. Okay, chocolate right there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. There is a driver. There is this uh, very soft chocolate. I think it's souffle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's like airy, fluffy inside. Mm-hmm. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. So that's what it reminds me right like now. Like the inside of a Three Musketeers. Like it's a whipped chocolate. Where exactly. It's very velvety, that, smooth. Velvety. And... That's that's mm-hmm. what it is. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Just smelling it, it smells amazing. It does, right? Yeah. I can see why that's a, a 98 on cigar aficionado. Exactly. I mean, I had really high expectations for this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look at this match. Two of them melted together. Wow. <laughs> Never seen that one before. For burn. There we go. You have to go all the way in, in there. I've, I've seen that you're in the circle or movement. <laughs> Last book. <coughs> yeah, just to get the bowl. Okay. Just to heat up the heat up the tobacco mm-hmm. evenly because it is loose. Right. That's a beautiful piece. All right, thank you. You have in there, yeah. It really is. It's been a lot of fun to smoke this thing. I really enjoy it. I'm gonna be full of energy tonight, I tell you what. All right, and then are you drinking anything? George, just I water didn't just today. water. Yes, okay. I didn't bring it any. I mean, just water, man. This is the source of life, right? <laughs> cheers to the source yeah, of life. And, yeah. Same here, this weather's been changing and just really affecting my throat and you know, just obviously Dylan getting sick and other people have been getting sick around me and the family and stuff. And it's just a tough time, you know. Do you think this is going to be back? Because I heard two weeks ago that New York was suffering a little bit with the COVID. Do you uh-huh. think it, it might come back? I don't think COVID is going to come back to the full extent like it used to. Uh, I don't think we're going to have lockdowns like we did for COVID. Um I think, if anything, what they'll end up doing is mandating, you know, masks again or, you know, and like personal hygiene, sanitation stations to, yes. to get into places. Mm-hmm. But I don't think... Uh, Not uh, that craze. Yeah, I don't think so. Mm-hmm. I don't think so. What we experienced before, I don't think that'll happen again. Do you remember when when it real, you realized it was serious? Yes. I do. How, when was it? Um, right before we started locking down, um, I was at work and like one of our work group chats, um, I worked with a group of Filipino people and they sent a video from China into the chat and it was like people dead on the street, like coughing, gasping for air and then they just like fall over and like ambulances would come over and pick them up and pull them in you know, into the ambulance and, and like full, you know, the white hazmat suits. 
Mm -hmm. And after seeing that, I just thought, Jesus Christ, you know, what is, you know, what is going on in this world? And then more information came out. Like this is, this is a global thing. Like this is happening globally and, you know, spreading and we just need to take precautions and stuff. So that's when I first experienced. What about you? Um, I first heard, I think it was in January or December, late December, mm -hmm. from a friend who was in China. And he really? said it was, things are, things are getting serious. But you never, you know, like I never uh, actually took it seriously. But I remember, um, I remember that the end, by the end of January, the stock market reacted and there were they start having rumors about that you know and then i took all my money because right because then i you don't know afraid. i don't know but i had a um I, ha I would have to wait for 30 days and that was scaring me but because in 30 days everything changes you know oh yeah because from i remember from the the real crisis was right from right in the beginning right i remember that like right march and March and yep. April when no one knew what would happen right so right. Uh, um, I just this is important to remember to, to, re to remember to remind people uh, of this uh, the, uh, situations like that right you know situations like that so well and it's funny you say that because right after all those lockdowns happened um, I told you the, the company I work for they, I had just finished that project and was instantly rolled into the unemployment call center for the state of Maryland. And basically, I think I've told this story to Hilton before, but I don't think I've told it on the yeah, podcast. Yeah, so. But what happened was um, Maryland had very strict, uh, you know, protocols, COVID, COVID response protocols, shut down all of their, you know, all, all business, basically. And the unemployment center, because they all of the businesses were like, we'll just call unemployment and get on unemployment. The state of Maryland, the call center, the, the unemployment department center, only had less than 50 employees to work for the whole state of Maryland. And then they had well over 5 million people calling a single day saying, like, I need... I need to file for unemployment. I need my unemployment benefits. I need money. So it was a huge response and undertaking. And that's that's right. Yeah. And and that's what really jump started a lot of economic growth was the response to COVID. And you see all. What do you mean now? Twenty twenty two, twenty twenty three. Uh, twenty twenty. What was it? Twenty twenty one when it first kicked off. Oh, 20, March 2020 was when it started. Right. Then you have the year, you know, like on, on Trump's government was the first year. Right. And then we have 2021. Don't remember. January 2020, January 6, 2021. Uh, was oh, the, the yeah. So, so no, so it was, it was 2020. 2020 yes. when that was. March. Yeah, when, when it was really kicking it, off. Things went crazy in Italy. Remember that? You yeah. Know, yeah was Italy good. was, I mean, you couldn't get into a hospital in Italy. Like things were exactly that whole thing. And, mm -hmm. and I remember like when they first started, I was wave two and they would give us, they would, they would do us, uh, they would give us introductions and kind of training on, you know, the old dot system where you had to hit tab to get over onto everything. And then, and they're like, oh yeah, there's a, a company they've been, contracting and working for almost 10 years to roll out a new system and and it wasn't even ready yet and they were like listen we need this new system up and running because we're just we're getting killed and when we were first trained they were like you answer a phone call you say that you're unable to process anything and to call back at another time and that's all i could do that's all i could do for like the first week. And then they started getting, you know, every day was like a new update. Like, okay, now you can start doing these, entering in customer information and filing a report. Oh, and okay, now you can start processing unemployment. But I would get suicidal phone calls. People are like, I haven't gotten paid 
in over a month, two months. I don't have any money. I'm living out of the back of my car. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm my car is being repossessed as we speak. I'm living in a homeless shelter right now. I have to sell my house. Like I I can't afford anything. And and like multiple people would would just break down when we would finally answer a phone call and be like, I've been on the phone for the past like seven or eight hours trying to get a hold of you to get some money to get something going because everything was shut down like the psychological damage that covid did and, and i'm not i'm not just maryland is just one state mm-hmm. yeah. texas had the same issues california had the same issues big populous areas had the exact same unemployment issues where people were just calling in and their systems were inundated yeah there is a thing about big cities too right so um, new york also the COVID is a it's a i think it's more the virus is more effective let's put it this way when there's a lot of connectivity it doesn't matter oh let's say if the city is geographically gigantic and then uh, people are isolated you have less cases but cities like new york right uh where you know you have what 10 million i think 10 million people in the city think about manhattan yeah think about how popular you're living on top of each other right next to each other how crowded it is yeah so um, um at that time you didn't know if it was airborne yeah. If it was touching, if if you s- simply being around somebody, like it's a scary, you know, like yeah. all this lit, all the literature and and TV series and movies, and right, and cinema covering the apocalypse, and you know, so um, always through a virus or a bacteria, you right? Know? It's well, always how it now starts. fungus, yeah, now fungi, right? Um, so um, definitely, we have to. We have to put that in consideration right no absolutely yeah it was a scary time for sure for a while there imagine think about um, um on the micro ideas of that how much do you think if we could quantify money was have had been lost during this period I mean, an event like that here's my alternate spin on it i don't think as much money was lost as much money was gained by it because every company money is transferring you mean no because how many businesses were shut down or forced to close well so it's a double-edged sword and my point being about that is there was such a, a, a when you have to force businesses to close down and and stop providing services and and goods that's obviously going to destroy small business mom and pop stores Mm -hmm. right but at the same time the amount of ramp up and new technology Mm -hmm. that Mm -hmm. covid brought in Mm -hmm. i almost think it was it's a wash Mm -hmm. in that aspect Mm -hmm. because there i mean there was uh, at least the company that i worked for Mm-hmm. was hiring nonstop and I ended up being a team lead and I worked with people that had 20 plus years of uh, software development couple patents like very intelligent people that were working under me and they're just like don't care what you're doing just go go help out you know and in the company that I was that I'm working for like they were making huge 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 amounts of money because it was so all different f- industries took advantage of the situation and they prospered and they prospered technology and then now after now you had all of this the tech layoffs mm-hmm. dell google yeah, yeah. everyone was being laid apple. off oh. apple everyone was laying off a, a lot of their workforce it's because you had your normal work process ones twos tens 15 20 people come go da, 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 da. and now all of a sudden everything's locked down you, there's a huge demand for a type of service okay now we need to onboard and bring 15,000 people to assist and help in various different projects and things 
And then after kind of COVID died down, now we're seeing those those major layoffs. Like, yeah, we don't need this many people doing this. Ah, you know, this type of service. It's some kind of adjust uh, economical adjustment. To exactly. Um, uh, think about if you think about the left, uh, the movie industry, right? So right. how many companies, small cinemas, in you know, in small in small towns, they were forced to close. Um, you know, so uh, think about that industry. Yeah, you, you know, uh, and they're barely. They have back to fire. Now. They have to 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 lay off. You know. Yeah. Like, I mean, what 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 will they do? They will keep it. So if you own the land or if you own the property, to are you being paid during this period? I I, I mean, at because that, of for for the, you know like. Well, and the government was only providing little payments here and there. Yes. You know, and I'd love to have Hilton's take on this because mm -hmm. a small business owner. Here in Texas, you know, how did that affect him? And what did he see, you know, during that time? Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, maybe people, I, I don't know how much they were willing to have people get into their houses to change floors and yeah. everything. Uh, but if they were, there would be the perfect time, like, to, re to, to renew things, you know? Well, and isn't that funny how Home Depot and Lowe's had their best years ever they killed it like 200 percent because everyone was forced to stay indoors or minimal amount of work activity so everyone was working at home or not working so they're like oh well i'm gonna go to home depot and i'm gonna build that deck let me tell you one i'm more. gonna go break yeah. down that wall how about delivery oh <laughs> uber eats huh, right or dash right you know, look at the industry that I I mean, see. exploded <laughs> Amazing, right? And who is responsible for that? Because in the past, um, the company would have to hire to have in-house delivery and stuff, you know. Right. But, but look at what it has become. Yeah, you know, it's basically five or six companies doing this, and it's your everyday neighbor doing that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And look, Sorry, how, I gotta look, look at how it burns. Look Perfect. at how it burns. Look Perfect. at the color. Yeah. Look at how it burns. Mm -hmm. And look at the line. Look how how is it Here, burning. Let me let me yeah. change. All right. This. Yeah. Change to that. So first of all, I noticed that it's super firm here. You see. Um, look at look at the, uh, the ashes. You know, like super white, healthy. Mm -hmm. As it, as I was taught, it's good. Uh, look at this line here too. I burns can, very I can evenly. Barely see it. Also. You know, because you see that with lo lower quality, you see that the, the part that is burning there is black. It's larger. Right. Yeah. So, uh, and I can tell him it's a very good smoke. Again, it's like um, I'm on a pipe. You see? Yeah. Probably being influenced by you, but probably, <laughs> uh, probably I'm uh, again in the, in, you know, in a, I don't know. Um, forest or something like that yeah on my pie so yeah. you're having like a fluffy chocolate flavor are you still having the same flavors yeah, or it's still there but it's still there but now it's more like mental or something like this you want more for the chocolate mantle um, you know like um peppermint ah like, okay. like, like just the pe mint. mint mint just mint yeah okay this mint yeah so it goes more from the chocolate and mint you know side really yeah very interesting yeah so it because it, it, it's just refresh and like it's refreshing inside oh interesting so, isn't oh, that cool damn. yeah that's I, a really I, cool I, that's really cool i like that yeah and it's well built it's a beauty well, that might be how that might be one to to smoke on another occasion too i'll tell you this one yeah top notch so top notch <laughs> the best from them so i mean I don't know how it's gonna is it gonna be the whole stick, but for now, it's good. So, so good, so good, man. So oh, good. nice, yeah. very nice. You see, man, dude, we are worried. Maybe many times, like we have so many topics, right? Yeah. <laughs> to, to cover, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's part of life, you know. It is. Yeah. So yeah. many things to do, but so little time. I know. I know. But hey. We love what we do, and we enjoy yeah. you all being here with us. So we hope you uh, enjoy the same. So, well, let's get into the next topic. Mm -hmm. uh, relevant 
to current times. Oh, let's see what it is. Right now, Jon Stewart is oh, coming yeah. back to The Daily Show. Oh, no. But is, is it going to be every night? No. Oh, boo. No. Just on Mondays. Just on Mondays. Just on Mondays. Which is good. That's oh really my God. good. Actually, it's going to create a hype. Because yes. it's every day. It kind of uh, dies out, you know, dies down, like, yeah. out very easily. Right. But every, you, you've got to wait the whole week yeah. to see what. The anticipation. Uh, yeah, To I see know. what he's going to say exactly. and do is, yeah, is going to be off the charts. And besides, you have, a, you have seven days to prepare to journalistically cover all your what you call the I's and Q's or uh, P's and Q's, P's and Q's, yeah. right? So yeah, you, you see. Well, I knew it was one of the alphabet words and letters, you know. So. <laughs> and I don't even know why it's P's and Q's. I know, like, I know. Yeah, I know, I know. So someone's yeah. out there. In, you see that? Put that probably in the exactly. Someone, please, please. <laughs> let us know yeah. P's and Q's. Yeah, and you know exactly, right? So. So uh, um, yeah, so I think having the, having him once a week with like protecting every single you know like uh, idea like journalistically speaking, right? So mm -hmm. yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be quite a show. I posted today about that, right? So yeah. brace yourself. So yeah. I mentioned in my in my, Watch. In my story. Do you know if it's gonna be on Apple TV? Where is it gonna be airing on? I think it's uh, um, I think it's in the, what what is it the show where Trevor Noah was? Oh, where he the, was before, right? Uh, the, exactly, yeah, yeah. Because J Trevor Noah replaced him. Yeah, uh, comedy was it was Comedy it's Central. Comedy Central, Comedy yeah. Central, yes. But okay. the program is the what the late night. The I thought it was the Daily Show. The Daily Show, the Daily Show. Yeah, yes, yeah. it was the Daily Show. The daily Show. But now it's the just going to be on Mondays. But I like that yeah. because. Have you ever watched uh, John Oliver yes, on HBO? Yes, yeah, yeah. I'm he familiar. Is, he uh, is phenomenal. I know. He, he is, is sharp is. as a whip. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, um, and I think the British, uh, the British side always bring a, some twist to you know to his performance. Yes. And I we watch it as a season, you know, like seasons, you know, like go let's go back to season one to watch it because his episodes are journalistically the best well and it's really informative information yes i mean yeah. a lot of you know if it's not politically related which it's is, just which many times is. which a lot of time yeah. but i mean that's such a huge talking point but even at that there's a lot of you know um just various other topics that he covers so in depth yes and takes a serious adds a little bit of humor here and there it's just it's it's really fun entertaining tv to watch it is, and you're it getting a ton of information about one particular subject yeah, yeah. he's brilliant he's very yeah, brilliant he is and he's a true artist yes to be honest like you know like actor comedian yeah. presenter journalist like, yeah to do all of that is, i don't know how much he gets involved with the whole uh, piece because it's only one topic right for there's three topics. There's three topics. Yeah, it's three yeah. Topics. He does cover a couple yeah, of different three topics per per show. But it's show. like 10, 15 minutes each I know. each topic. Yeah, yeah, he goes yeah, super yeah. in depth to yeah. it. Yeah, you know, like it's super, it's super um, watchable. It's very watchable. Like highly watchable, easy to binge. To binge, you know, like my wife and I, we binge it on it on his show sometimes. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, it's a pity that it became so political. Right. Then, honestly, millions of uh, pro millions of uh, um, conservative conservatives, right, uh, are not watching because of the political side, but they would enjoy. It. Yeah. Do you understand? Do yeah. You understand? Because no yeah. matter what happens in the news, there's two sides to the story. Like there's mm -hmm. two political parties, and sometimes you got to step back, no matter what your party affiliation is, and you just have to go like. God damn it, we're dumb sometimes. <laughs> why are we doing this? You know, the other side is doing it right. Like, why can't we think like them or do like, you know, do what they do? And I think that's where that type of journalism mm -hmm. is so handy to, to come in and kind of poke fun at both sides so that you can go like, uh, or it's someone watching that's like a 
pure diehard, you know, Republican. They can go, oh, the Democrats are doing this. And then you find out, like, the Republicans are doing something, too. And you're like, oh, sh shit, we're doing that also? That's kind of messed up. Right. You right, know, right, and yeah. same thing with Democrats. They'd be like, oh, the Republicans are doing this. And then you find something that Democrats are doing. And you're like, eh, man, I don't, I don't know. Do you remember when he personally went to the Capitol, I think, or the, uh, the White House with the veterans? Do you remember this episode yeah. last year? Or two years ago? Yeah, a couple yeah. years ago. Couple, yeah. Fighting for the our 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 medical benefits. Exactly. Yeah. That's right. why I've always... I, I'm a diehard uh, John Stewart fan. Yeah. Because, I mean, what he did is mm -hmm. is phenomenal. Beyond pol politics, right? Beyond politics. Well, and I mean, it's... And that's it is, you know, he's just like, we need to support our military veterans to the hundredth, you know, percent to the greed to, to you know to the best of everything of all the crap that we throw at them and make them do mm -hmm. and we can't provide like certain basic benefits and he and was pissed oh yeah do, do you remember what yeah that? yeah yeah so i remember it a long yeah. like, he spent i don't know two three hours there more yeah it was it was impressive so man i just want to see how that is going to add for the whole shebang that we are, that we've been saying. Do you understand right. what I'm saying? Like, because I didn't expect that. I didn't either. I didn't expect that. Kind of coming out of retirement, because he's not. He's easy he's, at. Uh, he's got a show at uh, Apple TV. Oh, right? okay. He's got a show. I think oh, that's right. Yeah. Uh, uh, we have a problem with John Stewart. Yeah. Yes, or something. Something like this. But it's somewhere he's you know doing it very slow. It's not. Oh yeah. yeah like on a daily yeah, or yeah, a weekly yeah, basis, yeah. he can do it whenever and kind of cover the topics he wants and stuff. But like I think that. probably that was his condition. It's yeah, I'm gonna be. I, I can go back. Right. But it's gotta be once a week because I, I I've gotta do this right the right way. Well, it's funny you say that because after Trevor Noah, who stepped in and took over? Uh, it's since this man. This is a topic that my wife and I talk every week, right? Because uh, we are big. Uh, Trevor Noah's fan. Yeah. So December seventh was his last show, and since then. But last year, right? It was last year. Last year. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I, I'm sorry. 2022. That's mm -hmm. right. So we are talking about 14 yeah, months 2024. ago. 2024. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, they have alternating, right? So lots mm. of um, um, other members of the team always stepped up. They, I, I know that. Oh, there are many other famous. Um, it wasn't Samantha B. It was somebody else, uh, which is also a, a you know like a, a host. Mm -hmm. So they they alternated, um, they alternated. So uh, they haven't found like the person to be right. here yet. Because when it was John Stewart and Trevor Noah, it w you would always see, you know, highlights or yes, all recaps the time. Yes, or video, exactly, like, yeah. you know. Very popular on Twitter, on Facebook, on all the social media platforms, posting like, oh, this is what they were talking about, and this is what they said. The show, the show needs a face. It does. You can't rotate people in and out. Yes. You can't, I mean, and that's unfortunately what's happening with Jeopardy. You ever watch Jeopardy? Mm, I know what it is. I'm familiar with that, but I I don't know. Like, Was it, is it like well, fifth so, season or something? Well, Alex Trebek had been the host for... I'm going to butcher how many years, but let me see. I got... Butcher it. Butcher it. <laughs> um, for 37 seasons, he was the host of Jeopardy. Ah, yeah. The face is familiar with the face. Let me, let me put it up on the... Let me change the screen. Well, anyways, I don't, I don't know if anybody's seeing that or not. It's not showing up on no. my screen. Um, but if you, if you Google it, um, look at Wikipedia, 37 years. Thirty-seven years he was the host of, of Jeopardy, and it's a it's a it's a game show. Yeah, I remember. They you know they give you the answer, and then you have to ask it in a question. What is yes. the theory of relativity? You know, type of thing. Whatever, whatever. The and they gave you all, they gave you choices, right? Yes, yes. And so after he passed away uh, in twenty twenty, so it's been three and a half years. Yes. Three, yeah. And they're, they've been rotating previous champions who yeah. performed mm -hmm. really well, some celebrities, um, uh, Aaron Rodgers, the quarterback he uh, of the Jets. Yeah. He yeah, loves, yeah. loves Jeopardy and has okay. actually hosted a couple, right. couple of, of shows. Yeah. He just loves it. He loves it. But 
again, to your point, you have to have a face because now Jeopardy is just kind of like, eh, you know, it's not, it's not the show. It's not what you what you go to. You go there to see that one person direct and do it, and if they're good, they're going to succeed for forty, you know, forty and years. We are men or women, okay? We are <coughs> people. people. We are people, right? So uh, creature of habits. Yeah, and of. Um, yeah, yeah, you just say a lot of words. I forget what sorry, I was saying. Sorry, yeah, sorry, no, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. No, no, it's it's good. It's good. Uh, um, um, we definitely. I oh, see. I missed that. I missed the point. <laughs> My bad. I, I'm I'm just rambling on. No, it's it's good. It's it's fine. It's good. Okay. So what, what, what were we saying? No, I was just saying that I I think you have to have that face uh-huh. of a show. You yeah. have to have that face. Oh, I remember a man of symbols. We are we are man of symbols. This is a one of this famous psychologists, you know, like, um, and we we Explain like symbols. Me. Yeah, yeah. Let me. We, yeah. Yeah. We, we we you see we we like symbols. Okay. Right. So uh, having a face is a brand, you know. Um, if you have a show that has twenty five attractions, and you don't have a person that. Um, symbolizes that I don't think people will remember do you, do you understand what I'm saying like it's unremarkable right you're always wait you're always waiting for something sarcastic or something acid or something ironic from Trevor Noah right I mean he got he's got the looks he's got the way he's you know he he's got the charm do you understand what I'm saying mm-hmm. like it's hard to put everything in a show they, you know, when you look at him, you remember immediately what the show is about. Right. Right. It's a brand. Like his face is a brand. Anywhere he goes now, he's right. He only does tour tours now. Mm-hmm. He's in Austin today. Oh really? Today he's in Austin today. Oh, I'll be damned. Twenty fourth. He's got a he's got a comedy set or something. Yes. That he's doing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. It's gonna be I think three or four nights. Actually, I bought this ticket, but it was for twenty for last year. Uh huh. But then he transferred for this year. Then I got pissed, and then I I request the money back. Ah, okay. But I shouldn't. I shouldn't have because I, today I would be there. <laughs> <laughs> is it at the Moody Center? Where 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 is he performing? Um, he performs yes at the Moody Center. Yeah, at the Moody Center or at the Bass, you know, which is in the same complex. Okay. Um, yeah, UT's complex. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, Hall Bass Hall, I think, or something like this. Okay. Um, right. So he's you. You know what you're getting. Right. And he delivers that. People expect him, and also his team. It's it's even even easier to see the structure because you can see. Oh, this is the. The is the camp the field reporter, right. so you expect the, you know he's got the musician. There are like connections, right? Because of one person, right? You know who actually elevates all of this, all the others. But it's important to have that symbol, that you know that symbology. Today I was reading about nothing to do but everything to do. I was re- I was reading about um, this um, ex, this uh, ex uh, basketball player. Mm-hmm. And then he was saying, "Hey, look, he, he." Thank you for reminding me. Sorry. Yeah, he's got. He's got a. He's got a. Um, um, he, you know, he played, and he's got a channel over. I think with over three million people following him on social media. And then he said, "You see, we have this structure in Brazil. Talking about Brazil's basketball, right? We have this structure, right? We have the support. We have people, which which is like he called, I think, the audience. But we don't have an idol. We don't have idols." So he believes, uh, I'm not bought 100% of theory, but I understand what, he's, what, what he means, you know, like. And it's so funny it. you say that because you've had great Brazilian basketball players. Nene, uh, Leandro Barbosa, who's won mm. championships with yes. the Golden State Warriors, yes. you know, and the Spurs. Like, he's been on championship teams, and I mean, he's. Vajon. 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 Uh, Tiago, Tiago Silva, he was on the Spurs team when they won with mm-hmm. Tim Duncan. So there's always been good Brazilian basketball players, but there has never been the Michael Jordan of Brazilian basketball we had, players. We had Oscar. Oh, yes. We had Oscar. I, I didn't want yes. to, I didn't want to, uh, you know, contradict you right away. But right. Yeah, but we had Oscar and Marcel, but more Oscar. Was, 
because at the same time we had a, you know we have a female which was Hortensia and the male it was um, Oscar so uh, at the same time those are the supposed to be the most uh, the goats the goats yeah Brazil's basketball right so goats you know those two right um, so we we had but it's been 30 years yeah or 25 years and then we had other good players but they come to the NBA, you know, like if, if, yeah. they, if they play in, in NBB, which is Brazil, right? National Basketball Brazil. Oh, okay. In NBB, if they stay there, they will become big idols in the country. But yes. because they go to the NBA, they don't play. Do you know what I'm they would be right. the best players. Think about the, the all the players you mentioned, Barbosa, playing Nene, right? So Varejão, all of them playing for Flamengo. For Flamengo. Yeah. For, do you understand what I'm saying? They would demolish. They would, you know, they'd be scoring. Franca, yeah. right? They were playing for those teams, right? Um, who knows what they could have brought in terms of investments? And and I think that's what it takes to get a sport elevated in certain places. Because in Brazil, I mean, football. Football, soccer is number one no matter what you go where you go what you do you know football 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 yes and that is because it's internationally known that the best players football players it's a brand it's a brand it's, it's a, a brand. brand and you have your idols no matter where you go someone's gonna know who neymar is pele Ronaldinho, ronaldo ronaldo the phenomenon speak because everyone has those idols. So, and you're absolutely right. Brazil needs a basketball superstar to play just in Brazil to build up that brand. Yes. And you see that this is how franchises are recovered. This is this is how sports, you know, that you believe they would just vanish or they will become less and less relevant. Right. This is what happens when one idol sir you know like when it's not i don't know if it's the administration that does that or the organization right let's, let's say the balls the balls decided that michael jordan would be the face of a uh, basketball or the nba as an institution i think it's whatever the fans say i think it's yeah i think we're i think it's gladiators mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and they're in they're in the coliseum in rome and people are going, yes, yes, this is the face of the team, or no, we don't approve of him, he needs to go. I mean, a lot of it also does come down to the, you know, the team, the ownership, you know, who do they want to be the face of, you know, the face of the franchise, the face of the team to sell. And uh, yeah, most of the time it's from the fans. We can migrate to football talking about that. <laughs> we can we right? absolutely can't. We were on the topic of basketball, and I brought yeah. I brought this. Oh right! I have something to show you. <gasps> so, oh my goodness! I'll show. It is ah, a Seattle SuperSonics starter yeah. jacket with the pockets in the front. Wow, check man! This, check this out! Check this out! So this is my dad's. He oh, let me my goodness. let me have it. He bought that made in Korea, huh? 1987. Amazing. This material is what they make tents out of. They don't make this material anymore. anymore. This thing is the most windproof, waterproof, absolutely indestructible jacket. Thirty. This thing is uh, 36 years old. 36 years old and it looks this, new. This is 36 years old. My dad yeah. bought it in 1987. 1987, man. Look at that. And I and I pull it out. I pull it out and wear it, man. It is such a lightweight, comfortable jacket. They don't make it anymore. Look at look at the, look how light it is. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. This isn't is that, a dream, isn't that man. crazy? Isn't 36 that crazy? years old. 36 years old. And look at I mean, look at the quality of it. Everything man, is still I like them. I know. I like them so much. I know. I know. They were a great team. They were a great team. I don't want to get the cigars. No, there. yeah. I remember the Glove. Gary Payton. Right? Gary Payton, right? One of my favorite players of all time. Yeah. 
Yeah, man. Sean Kemp. Sean Kemp. He yeah. was a. How how would he perform in best in today's basketball? That's an interesting question, George. I don't know. I don't know how a lot of those because he was very physical. Yes, he was just very muscular so and physical. Was, so was Gary Payton. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, for, for his, his position, for defense, small Wasn't guy. Wasn't he like twice M- the the, uh, the defender of the year? Yep. Twice. Yep. More than Jordan, the same position in Jordan. Yeah. Is he's only just a small one. guy? He's mm-hmm. just a small guy. But he was. I mean, that's why they call him the glove. He was just yes. on you. He's just sticking to you. His son got a ring. Yeah. With the with the Golden, Golden State, State Warriors, Warriors, right? Yeah. Yeah. Gary Payton Jr. Yeah, yes, the the guys was a monster in that season. Yeah. I didn't expect them to win. I didn't expect it to him right. at all. But you know, like you're gonna wait for basketball. When yeah, you start I know. talking about know. basketball, you know, we can like, get on some two weeks, some huh? Tam- yeah, yeah, for sure. Weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm but anyways, show- I had to show that to you. I thought, I thought. You'd oh my! Now that. my heart stopped for five <laughs> seconds, like because I remember that how. Yeah. Um, actually, that that the the team start started being built. Um. In that period, because many many of the um, um, uh, bench players were started playing that time at that time, I remember. And right. do you recall? So, the owner, the the previous owner, the last owner, kept making promises. I'm going to keep it in Seattle, 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 and then he goes, "We're going to Oklahoma City." Oh, my that God. son of a bitch! To become the Oklahoma City Thunder. At that time, we had just drafted James Harden and Kevin Durant. West and West and Westbrook. Westbrook. Westbrook came later. He yes. was drafted on the Thunder. But right, had, right. That's we, right. We that's had right, Harden. Right. And, I mean, Kev, yes. you can get a Kevin Durant jersey where it still says Seattle SuperSonics. I know. Then, I remember and, that. And yeah. then they were like, "No, we're going to go to OKC." Man, I'll tell you. You see, they're they're about to come back. Yes, they are about to come back. Yes. Let me ask a question. If you are, if you are Kevin Durant, wouldn't you just say, you know what? I'm gonna get a ring. But he already has his rings. He Kevin has, Durant already he has, has he his rings. Have rings. He has rings with the Golden State. Does it count? <laughs> that's that's another topic. That's another does discussion. it count? I, I, of course, I'm kidding. He's a man. He's a. Uh, a monster. Mike, yes. It's probably my top 20. Maybe not yet, but top 20 for sure. Yeah. Um, but I want to, I would lo- I would love to see him at a redemption, just like Stephen Curry, you know? Yeah. And this is just a, uh, it's just a theater here, you know, yeah. because all his players, come on. Yeah. I mean, would you do anything different joining a team to get a ring? No, absolutely not. If you were in that position, you already have the millions. You already have money just flowing out every orifice of your body. And it's like, you know what? I'm going to cement my name in history. <laughs> and he did. And he did. He did. He, the two seasons were phenomenal. It's a little bit easier, right, to play with um, Peak Johnson, uh, uh, Peak jo- um, Stephen Curry, yeah. the, the Splash Brothers, isn't yeah. it? Easy to, you know, to play along with these guys? Easier. E- yes, easier. it is easier. But I think their game uh, complemented oh, each other really yeah. well. You know? One thing that I, I the one, the, the three big three that I never really liked, that still had success, but, but yeah, I mean, it took the whole team, was LeBron on the Heat. <laughs> so you are the ones who have... The- a beef with LeBron or LeBron. Well, or and I have I have beef with it because one, uh, and my, my daughter painted my nails. So yeah, I yeah. Honestly, I didn't even ask. Yeah, because I don't assume anything. So I got here, I saw that. I promise <laughs> you guys, it, I bottled in. I bottled in. Didn't say anything. Yeah, yeah. George has been. Yeah, he's been a huge team player in this whole thing right now. So, no. Uh, yeah, my daughter. My daughter painted my nails. So I'm I'm keeping it for the podcast. Um, but I don't think the game that LeBron played, D Wade, Chris Bosh, mixed really well. It obviously got them the results that they needed to yeah, win the championship because they were so superior. To be honest, right? right? Uh, so 
Yeah. But even at that, I don't think they needed... Well-trained. Huh? They were well-trained. They were very well-trained. Yeah. But the thing is, their playing style was just not... I understand. I understand. I just don't... I wasn't a like, big fan. Watching them, I just wasn't a big fan. Exactly. Yeah. I wasn't a big fan. I liked watching Steph, um, uh, Durant, and what's his name? Um, Splash Gr- Brothers. What's Green, it? Johnson. Uh, uh. No, not Draymond Green. Um Clay Thompson. Thompson. Clay Thompson. Yes, thank Thompson. you. Thompson, yeah. That, that, that's what I said, too. Probably you, because I didn't say right, probably I confused you. No, I no? just, it didn't process yes. that first. Clay, right? Was like, Clay. Steph and yes. Clay. Yes. Yeah, yeah there but we the, go. The, the team, the, actually, they assembled a very good team. Off the bench, they had great people. The Iguodala coming yeah. from the bench. Barbosa. Barbosa. Coming from the, coming from, coming from the bench, you yeah. know? So, uh, um, there are many good players. They had, like, successful a mix of a young with ex seasoned yes uh players so um yeah they did they did well um i'm not a that a big fan of a uh, three point three pointers i understand the change in the game right so right. but the three points are unfair how it, so it should be 2.5 <laughs> i'm i'm i'm, I'm I swear. Yeah. The, the point the the point is that it's all about the statistics, right? Right. So if I'm you see if I'm getting forty percent from threes, how much do I need to do to get in twos? Yeah. W- what's the percentage? Well, but I think the the thing is, even getting in the the two and like in, inside the in, you know inside the arch, you're going to be more contested because it's a lot more cramped. And congested. There's a lot more movement, a lot more players. I, 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 yeah, but with this game, with this current game, because everyone you, you can't leave, you can't leave anyone open. Those those guys are shooting from the logo. Yeah, you know, so uh, it's easier to get in. True, it's much easier to get in if you have a fast player such as Fox from um, from Sacramento, Sacramento. games, who's super fast. Yeah. Ja Moran, you see what he's been doing. Yeah, um, Anthony Edwards, all these guys, they are. Uh, not the biggest, but they are super athletic. Yeah. And then they are... Jamara, you see a point guard? Yeah. Had a an FG. Uh, I think it was just... It was less than point... Half a percent po- percentage po- point from jo- from Jokic, uh, Jokic and, and, um, and Beat. Really? Think about that. You expect Two the high... Two centers. Exactly. Yeah. He was the third. In the whole 500 and, uh, 500, 520 players. Out of the 520 players, a what? He's 6'3", six, 6'2". Six, he's 6'2". I don't like... I... He's a little taller than that He because he's he is a little taller, but he's just skinny. He's oh, skinny yeah, yeah. and athletic. It's the hair, I think, that yeah. you probably tied because, <laughs> because, because his hair is super tall. Yeah, Can yeah, I say possibly. that? Can yeah. I say that? Yeah, of course. Of yeah, course, he's tall. Yeah. Yeah. Tall is... Yeah. 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 It's his yeah. hair. Okay. Um... Ah, uh, you could be right. You could be right with this height, um, but in comparison to the other, you know, to Embiid, who's He's over got seven springs foot. in his feet. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, that's incredible. So you start talking about Embiid, huh? About Embiid, seventy, yes, yeah, something. seventy points. Oh yeah, this is a high. You see, this is the kind of thing I'm gonna bring. You, we are gonna bring. You know, yeah, seventy points. Yep. In a game, it happened only eight times before, right? Yeah. So uh, um, there, there is even there are even uh, videos videos on on youtube saying uh what happened between uh you know like the last time someone scored 70 like chamberlain scored 70 like what happened with the league after the second time he did until now so the whole video there are videos of all that right it's a very rare rare occurrence yeah and uh you know people i don't know people just because it's in beat people are treating hey it's in beat no it's a huge achievement he's been I'm, I'm gonna be very bold here. He's being Shaq like. This year, I think he's dominant as Shaq was in his first year, and that was what I always theorized would eventually happen: is that all of these teams would be so hyper focused on three point shooters, they want to emulate and have Steph Curry's on their team. 
because how many teams do you do you see now where they either have a smaller center or not a very physical center whatsoever? Sure, a six eight, six nine. Yes. Yes, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. where before, if you weren't seven foot... Looney for for the Golden State Warriors, which is 6'8", six, 6'9". Six, yes, nine. and that's it because they're playing that fast, up-tempo ball, three-pointers, you know, fast, easy, quick points. Uh, um, but that's the thing is, like, after what Steph Curry did and transitioned the NBA into a three-point scoring game, someone like Joel Embiid, who can just bully and run over anyone in the paint, he's going to have these games. But you know why? Actually, I, I, let me compliment. That's true. But let me compliment what, what I saw. What I, Have you seen the 70 points? No, I haven't. It's ridiculous. His mid-range... Was just on fire? He was just... Uh, it just, it just like goes every it goes everyone, you know, like, yeah. except for um, Wemby, right? So he played, it was a game against Wemby. So yeah. um, the media has been covering... Um, every single Wemby games against the top players, right? right. So Jokic and, and the, um, uh, now Embiid and all the players, right? So blocking LeBron, you know, like they're uh, Anthony and uh, Anthony Davis too. Yeah. So they're they're big, they've been covering that everywhere Wemby goes. Right. You know they're he's they're recording the the history as history, like his first season. It seems like they're filming a movie already. Right. What what I've been. Being listened to, man, I, I'm too passionate about basketball. We should go back to football because <laughs> I'm telling you, like, I, I follow. I well, follow. we'll get, we'll get, yeah, we'll transition to football. We'll talk more about basketball because yeah. I really, I really enjoy basketball too. Right. So, um, all right. So we have a pretty funny tweet that aged <laughs> has aged very, very well. How um, many times have you seen this since 2017? It's happened in the past. Dylan is gonna know more more about it than me. I, I but I can't remember. This is the second time I've seen, so that's why I understood. It, it happens. Like yes, it, it does happen. Three years ago, they said they said the same thing. And oh it's, it's yeah, no, now, it, now it definitely does happen. It's no, trending sure. probably. Yes. On Twitter. On yes. X. Yes, on X. Now, why did I change it from Twitter? Twitter was fine. Anyways, yes. Um, would you like to pull up the the tweet? Yes, and, and show sure. it to the audience. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because uh, so they understand what we're talking about. Yeah, it is in regards to the Kansas City Chiefs and the Buffalo Bills. They played on Sunday, and it was a showdown. Oh no, man! I lost it. <laughs> oh no! Oh damn it! I might be able to because I because I I, I, I I clicked on Twitter. Uh-huh. And then it, it updated. Ah, okay. Let me see if I can find it. From I should you. have taken a picture or something. Jesus. I think I have it from you. Oh man, I bad. got it. I got it. You I got, got it? it. You got yeah. it. That was bad. Okay. Let me see. Uh, let me go right there. Okay. Uh, just because our other screen isn't working. So, if you could read it, the Buffalo Bills thanked the Kansas City Chiefs. Yes. For all of the draft picks that they received. Yes. For the Chiefs going up into the draft. And then this person famously said, we needed Patrick Mahomes. Uh, um, Mahomes, the, uh, this will hunt us forever. Why don't we never try to get a franchise quarterback? Yeah. And then the, the first comment, this man knew they messed up. And... What did you say? I sent you via WhatsApp. You said that it aged very badly. Yes. What did you compare? <laughs> well, I, I compared it to a snowball in summer. Oh my goodness! <laughs> and and I mean the and that's the thing with drafts. You you're gonna have all these experts that are gonna say and predict and do their you know this is gonna be the next best thing. This is gonna be the greatest of all. Mm-hmm. And that draft class had Deshaun Watson, who played for the Cleveland plays for the Cleveland Browns now mm-hmm. and Mitchell Trubisky who's complete garbage he is absolutely the terrible. second one you're, you're, is, is, was he the second? he was supposed to be like number one or two okay, in the I, draft I, I think Deshaun Watson was number number one and it was so outlandish for Buffalo to be in that spot in Kansas City to trade up 
all of these draft picks to get Patrick Mahomes. So people are like, he's from Texas Tech, which is a smaller university. Um, and why are you giving all of these pit? Like it just didn't make make any sense to sure. to jump up that high for someone like that. And uh, and now with the Chiefs beating the Buffalo Bills in Buffalo, it uh, it kind of kind of all comes comes back around and makes sense. So I. Again, right? So I don't extend the podcast, but I always have questions, right? Yeah. So uh, regarding this player, I think it's worth it talking because it's one of the, you know, his yeah. the lead of uh, one of the, I would say that favorites. Oh yeah. Um, you know, from my point of view, right? Right. Um, how did he perform in his debut? In, the, in his phenomenal. Debut, in, right in, right at the, right from the beginning. Right from the first game. Yeah. Right from the first game, they were like, "Yep, we we struck gold." Right, because uh, don't yeah. care about those picks. And yeah, so enjoy his it first season. Oh yeah, from yeah. the first from the first season, they made the playoffs, which they went from, and that's what I was gonna say. It was Alex Smith who got who got booted from the team. And I don't mm-hmm. know if you know the story of no, Alex Smith. No, Alex Smith is a good quarterback. Played with San Francisco. They benched him. And they put in or he got hurt. He got hurt. Just just some yeah, you know, just some injury. And they put in Colin, Ka- Colin Kaepernick. Right. Same thing. Colin Kaepernick just threw and was was doing phenomenally and and was just going out there and just destroying the competition. So they're like, eh, Alex Smith, you know, sorry, we're gonna get rid of you. They trade him to Kansas City. He's in Kansas City, doing phenomenal, setting up oh a great my team. God. They draft Karma. They draft Patrick <laughs> Mahomes. Right. He gets hurt again. They put in Patrick Mahomes, and Mahomes is just balling. He's just throwing, running, doing doing all this crazy stuff. So Kansas City's like, we don't need Alex Smith anymore. Let's trade him again. So they traded him to Washington, the the Redskins, the, Redskins. the Commanders, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he gets his leg shattered in a uh, someone tackled him and split his leg in half. And there's a uh, video and a documentary of That's him. a tragedy. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh my his god. His whole football career, like I know. he worked, he worked himself, got hurt, and then people would trade. Many him. players in soccer are like. <laughs> Any sport, man. Any sport. I'm, you see, the more I talk to you guys, the more I realize that... Sports um, are all the same. They're all the same, but uh, y- y- things don't surprise you. Yeah. I mean, some things surprise you, but it, you're, you've already seen because I follow two sports really right. closely, right? Which is soccer and basketball in many leagues. So I think the fact that you've seen so many leagues with different roles, yeah. you know, I think... Um, um, also, um, how, maybe if I only had international experience, it would be harder for me to understand the structure of the football. But because and the NBA and the NFL formula is very similar, they're, they have a lot of similarities, right? Yes. So it's easy to follow. Right. It's easy, it's easy to follow. Now that I decided, because in the past, like, oh, I don't know anything, not because you don't know anything, it's just because you haven't invested your time on that. Right, right. right? So... Um, yeah, so um, I'm just enjoying it. Yeah, Good. Just, yeah, Good. I'm glad. It. Uh, it's a fun sport, you know. Well, I mean, any any sport ends up being fun once you start investing some time into it, you know. The pickleball, pickleball's fun. Racket, racquetball's fun. Yeah. You, know, you just gotta invest a little bit of time into it. And- I made fun of it, but so he's no okay. I'm admitting here. I made fun of pickleball. Yeah. Like, because I was just watching, and then I was I shouldn't have I shouldn't have, but just was fun. Right? Like, I could. Play in my sleep, you know. Something yeah. Like this. But man, uh, actually, I see that honestly is the sport of the future. Yep. Because the population, this country, you have, um, what was that? One hundred million people over, a hundred million people over sixty years. They're over sixty. Yeah. These people are going to live for 30, 40 more years. And. They will have to create sports 
that those people can compete, those people can exercise. And I think this one, man, sports like that is going to be a trend. That is a very interesting, that's point a very of point of view. Yeah, I never even thought of it that way. But you're absolutely right. Any other sport, you have to think of, oh, these are young 19-year-olds, 20-year-olds, and they start getting old when they get like 28, Super 29. mobility, you know, like yes. flexible and strong. Yeah. But you're only... You're but only reality, asset. 100 million people. Yeah. So that's going to be a huge economy. I mean, it's going to be a gigantic economy. Yes. Right? So these people are going to be retired. They don't have a lot of money, but they have. Right. You know, so... And the governments who have to embrace this and it's affordable you can go anywhere and just basically hey here's my little square put up a little net play right here play in the middle of the street my and, neighborhood and also i've seen different sizes when i saw that when yeah. people, I think let's let's play in a let's play in a smaller court yeah so you can you know you can play man i played with my kids in my driveway and we've had a blast playing pickleball you see that yeah and how was the ball is the ball just a regular tennis ball? It, no, it's not a regular it's tennis lighter, ball. It's right? lighter, right? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. a lighter. Um, I forget what it's called, like a wiffle ball. It's a little bit more dense than a wiffle ball. Yeah. And this part of the cigar here is strong. Yeah? Yeah. I'm, I'm drinking, bitter or harsh? Or? It's bitter, but it's. I'm drinking a... It's going to be... I don't know if you ever tried it, but it's. Uh, it would be a kind of a... Port wine, hmm. meat, like a port wine meets, let's say, um, a, I don't know, a red pepper, you know, you know, you know mm. something like this, like a chili. Yeah. I would really? Say, yeah. So it's got a sweetness to it, but a spiciness. Yes. Like, a, not like a Thai food. It's not. That's not the where I'm going. It's more peppery. Mm. With wine, and maybe a covering you something you own, mm. you know, like mm. more embodied, yeah. Wine, so this is what, yeah, I like it though. I'm, so I'm drinking my cigar, man. <laughs> Since I don't drink, yeah, uh, <laughs> you got to enjoy, you know, enjoy other things, yeah, exactly. You see, I always find a way to connect things, man. yeah, absolutely. So, well, should we get into our football yes, picks, please? All right, so it is. The Battle of the Logos. That's the best name, man. That's an amazing name. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold up the, the, the schedule off of my phone because I can't seem to get the TV screen to be populating and working. Mm -hmm. yeah, it works as well, right? It yeah. Works, it works just as good. You know, when, when daddy's away, you know, the kids try and play, but we end up breaking shit. So, um, so Hilton... We'll fix it when you get back here. Uh, all right. So the first game on Sunday is the Kansas City Chiefs at the Baltimore Ravens. Right. Okay. And the next game after that is the Detroit Lions at the San Francisco 49ers. So we'll start with the first game. Chiefs at Ravens. Who do you pick? I'm going to go with the show. Yeah. I'm going to go with the show. Okay. Right? So, um, the Mahomes show. Mahomes and all the Kelsey family, Kelsey family shows. Uh huh. And, um, uh, I think they are, they are, they were built for this moment, you know. It's a tough one, man. They've, I know, they've I know. been there for, for such a long time. And I know, right? So, I think, I think they, I think there's a whole bit. The whole business also wants that. Yeah. You know, um, of course the for the what is that? Was that the Ravens? Right? Ravens. Ravens. Yeah. The Ravens who try to spoil that. Oh yeah. That's Lamar, what they try I to mean, do. Lamar Jackson signed a huge contract yeah. also, so he has something to prove. The business wants him to get into yes. at least a Super Bowl. Exactly. So yeah. Um, um I will go with the Chiefs, but okay. I wouldn't be bad. I wouldn't be sad, right? If the Ravens um, make it happen for, and I think the players and, and sorry, go ahead. No, 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 just at that. Uh, I, I'm just saying that I, I would pick the Chiefs uh -huh. because it's. 
I think there is their time right now. It's their yeah, time. It's their time right now. And and kind of to the point that you were you were you were bringing up. I wouldn't be sad if either you know if one team beat the other, the mm-hmm. other team you know vice versa, yes. whatever, because they're both great teams. They mm-hmm. both play phenomenal football. Uh, I'm gonna pick the Baltimore Ravens. All right. Uh, I think the Ravens are gonna do it. I think their defense is very very strong. And if Lamar Jackson in that Lamar. offense can just, if they can get firing, they can, they can get firing. So, um, yeah, I think the Baltimore Ravens are going to do it. Did, didn't they have the best campaign? Like most, most wins? Yes. 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 Right. They had the, yeah, they had the best record. The best record. Well, mm-hmm. second actually to, um, uh, no, and then San yeah. Francisco. And 12 Detroit. 5 yeah. and 13 for, yeah yeah so 13. they yeah they they were the best team the best record in the NFL so yes yeah, the best record right last year uh, this year this yeah. year so how did they go last year they lost in the playoffs la- no Lamar Jackson got hurt okay so so I don't think they made the play I can't remember to be honest with you how is he performing right now phenomenal phenomenal yes. phenomenal at the at Mahomes level yes mm. running gunning Right. Doing everything, yeah. making plays happen, directing, directing. There was one play where he threw the ball and it just overshot the guy, and he ran up the field to the to the wide receiver and was and like, not chewing him out, but like, man, I called this play. You need to go up and cut instead of doing a post route. Like he explained to the guy, and the guy's like, okay, okay, I got it. You know, my bad. So it's his team. So it's his team. And yeah, he's acting this is a, before what? he before he wasn't acting what? like that. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, how was it um, in twenty twenty? How about twenty twenty two, twenty twenty one? Yeah, twenty. Yeah, yeah. Well, before. Yeah. yeah, He was trying to get into that role, but it wasn't very. It wasn't as much as like it is now, where it's like, this is my team, this is my offense. He knows the playbook. He knows everything. He knows that guy should be here instead of there. You need to be doing this and this and this. I have a feeling, man. Do you remember when it happened to when that happened to LeBron James? He lost. They went to Miami, um, the super team. They yeah. formed the super team, and they say they would win eight rings in a row. Mm-hmm. And then they lost to baby Mavericks. Yeah. Okay. Do you know the reason why? But who is the Did baby you... Mavericks in this in this spot? Ah, uh, yeah. Are you yeah, saying the, the Ravens? No, no. In this, uh, I'm I'm just comparing. I'm just comparing the my Miami, right? Ah, so okay. my, with Miami because LeBron won his first ring. That way, hey, hey you, we didn't win because you didn't step up. Right. So probably someone at a certain point this this season went to him and said, "Hey, man, you, you can be the face of this of this game here." Yes. Are you gonna let? Uh, are you gonna let that 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 boy take your place? Right. I think this is what I I figured. Yeah, from what you guys have been, yeah, commenting here. So he's he's got a chip on his shoulder. He does. He does have a chip. Maybe on his more shoulder. than Mahomes. I think so. At he's, this point. he's definitely has more to prove. He has to prove his worth because he signed a huge contract, and you know, and he's got a phenomenal team around him. So he's got yeah, yeah. he's got a good team. Uh, Are you picking them as your favorites of the four? Would you pick them over the 49ers? Yes. I would pick them over the 49ers, which would be a rematch of a previous Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. Um, Dylan picked the Kansas City Chiefs. Yes. Hilton did not uh, participate yet, but that's, I mean, he's in the trade show right now, so I'm sure he's very busy yeah. doing that. But uh, we'll have his. Chief, get, so Chiefs. Chiefs, Ravens. And Chiefs. Chiefs. Yeah. So. I think, who do you think Hikil is going to pick? He's a bird supporter. Ah, uh, okay. So he's going to go. So it might be a split. We are, we're going to have Hilton and me on, yeah. the, on the Ravens and you guys on the Chiefs. Uh, I, that's me putting words in his mouth, but, you know. Yeah, sure, out. sure. Well, it's just a, a, a prognostic, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. And then the next game it should be a doozy of a one. The mm-hmm. Detroit Lions at the San Francisco 40. I Lions. wish the Detroit Lions won, you know. I wish them. But I will go for sure. I'll go with the 49ers. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go Detroit Lions just because I hate the 49ers so much. <laughs> you don't want them to win at all. I hate the 49ers. The earlier they are out, the better. Yeah. Yes. I mean, 
They're a huge rival with Seattle. And is it? Oh yeah, huge rival. Why was that? Same division, same okay. you know, and uh, a couple years ago when. But how went, is it Seattle and? So San Francisco's here in California on the coast, and then Seattle's right. up in Washington. Right. But they play; they're in the same division, so they see each other every two years. Oh, but I thought, I thought Detroit Lions was in Detroit. It was... Yes, but they're part of the NFC. Oh, okay. So oh, that's the remember it's okay, like broken that, yeah, up yeah. in like the East and the West. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah, in in basketball, so you still have your East. Oh, okay. Is it East? Oh, okay, go ahead. Yeah, east. so you have your East, east and your yes. West, right? Conferences. So they're like the same thing. Okay, all and right. then but then you have like Sacramento. Phoenix. This is all from this is all from the West. And that they're all from like that one. You have the, your Pacific. Yes, just like in basketball. Yes. Right? Yeah. So four set four. So it's two divisions, but divided in each division divided into four. areas. Yeah, yes, exactly. yes. So Seattle and San Francisco are in the same division on the oh, NFC. Oh, you're talking, oh, man. The whole time I was talking about the. I was thinking oh about, no, 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 yeah, no 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 yeah no no no. It was like yeah. Detroit, but Detroit is an east is the yeah. east side. They're like no. no. Okay, got it, got it. Okay, okay. Yes. Um, totally, totally. But yeah, so I hate the. I, I oh, it's just close. Like, yeah, I know. Yeah. I mean, I could walk <laughs> from San Francisco to Seattle. That'd be a hell of a walk. Mm -hmm. I've done it, but bicycle uh, maybe. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah I'm gonna go there this year. I told you, right? To Seattle. To Seattle, yeah. You have to go to Pike's Pike's place. Uh, the fish market, and you have to go to the original Starbucks. All right, it's I, right I, there. I'm gonna take notes of all your recommendations okay. there because I. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of good places to go to. <laughs> we go to Vancouver and to Vancouver in Canada. And Vancouver, uh, Canada. Yeah, okay. Vancouver, Canada. Yeah. We go to Canada, Vancouver, <coughs> and Seattle. That's that's my trip number one this oh. year. Yeah, that's very the nice. one I I picked. Oh, very I, cool. Yes, I don't know. I think my wife picked uh, Halloween. In Mardi Gras or something like this. Really? Yeah, so she picked that one. Oh. Yeah, so I pick one, she picks one, and then we go like this. You make it happen. Mm -hmm. That'll be cool. That'd be really cool. But I still think the Seattle, the Seattle-Vancouver trip would be fun. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. well I'm, I'm, I'm sure. I hope when I went there, the Supersonics were there already, but that's going to take, I think, 20 for two, three seasons. It's not going to be next season. It's not going to be next season, no. <clears throat> I think it'll take some time. Mm. So Yeah. Uh, all right. All right. But so, and then... Uh, 49ers. So you're Niners. Yes. I, I can't support the Niners, so i got to go Lions, even though... Lo I, I Logically? The, yeah, I think the Niners would do it. I think they're a better team. But you never know. Underdogs have won before in the past. So um, Dylan picked the 49ers. And the Lions is a Hilton's team, isn't it? Hilton is a Leo. He's always saying that he he likes the Lions. He's picked the Lions this whole year. So, so it's going to be again a split. A, a possibly, I think so. So uh, yeah, good good choices. Yeah, is it? That's the second week that that happened. Yeah, that you're picking uh, Hilton's. Uh, I mean, so, you know, it's the same picks. From yeah, him. yeah, yeah. Or. Vice versa. Right. Good. Um, I'm excited. I want to... When is the Super Bowl? So that's going to be February 11th or February, February 12th, whichever it's a uh, Sunday. The coldest day in the year in Texas. So that coincides, almost always coincides with the, with the Super Bowl. February 11th. So just be bundled up and prepared. Yes. Where are you going to watch? I don't know. I think Hilton was saying that he wanted to do something here, like a Super Bowl party thing. I would, I would love to. I would love to come. Yeah. You know, like they do in Brazil, they open cinemas and people go to the cinema to watch to watch soccer, soccer oh, competitions. That'd be really cool too. Yeah, like full. Um, I remember one of them was was in the IMAX. Really? Think about that. What the 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 World Cup final or something? Oh like yeah. This. And then that would be <clears throat> unbelievable charge to see that on the why screen. not they could charge five times the regular the regular, the regular tickets i think they do that in some theaters because my I, I had a friend who was a seahawks fan he was like we can go watch seahawks games at the theater 
they'll put it on there and you pay like 10 bucks to go in to go watch it and then you can get popcorn and a drink. Oh my God. $10? Yeah. 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 <laughs> watch a football game and see right. in the theater. So That's cheap. No, not I mean, bad at all. Not, not bad, bad at all. all. That's that's let's not say cheap, right? So yeah, it's yeah. relative. Yeah, but relative. Uh, it's affordable. Yes, it's affordable. it's affordable. Anyone could could, could go. Yes, anyone yes. could go with the family. Right. Like the activity of the month. Yes. Go see one game in the theater with popcorn. Yeah, and, and drinks. drinks. Yeah, it's a good little family event if you're really into sports like that. So I don't know. I don't know. Not it's a bad idea. Not, not, not bad at all, right? Yeah. So um, they do that in the World Cup, when, in World Cups, so when they are filming, like the two players, the two, the two, the two nation, nations are playing. Yeah. And then they move the camera to the, you know, to the capital or the main city of the each of this uh, nations playing. Right. And then there, there, there are like thousands of people there. You know. Yeah. They do that. They, they, they do that. That's in, really in cool. The, I never know. Twenty four te- teams now. I think it's going to be. It's going to be more. Thirty two or forty or yeah. whatever. They're, we don't know how many nations are going to play. But anyway, so this is a uh, quite interesting. Right? It's quite interesting. Well, and I don't. I think Hilton was saying he wants to do it here. Um, if not, we'll figure out obviously a place that we can do it. I would love watching a game with you guys. Yeah, it would be cool. Should be fun. Should yeah, be yeah. Fun. I. I, I I won't be. This is this is this is the time to ask silly questions. So uh, you know, like if I watch it, this time it's just watching. It's not learning. Not now. <laughs> you don't, man. You don't go. You don't go to those places and start asking questions hey, in the middle of the game. Hey, no. but it's okay because my wife's there, or anyone else's other wife's there. They're like, "What's going on?" I don't you know understand. what I'm gonna do? If other let's people... wrap this. Let's wrap this this podcast up. Sure, let's, let's do it. Yeah, let's finish it up. Or do you, do you have anything more? No, you need no, to discuss? no. I think no? We were, it was pretty long and pretty good, wasn't pretty it? Pretty good. We're right at you know an hour, hour's yeah. time, a little over. So oh, good. All right, everyone. Well, thank you again for joining us today, uh, minus two of our members, but uh, still a fun time. Yeah, still a fun I'm looking forward for our next conversation to see who is in the finals, who yeah, is in the Super Bowl, right? Going to the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. Bye, guys. All right, everyone. Have a great night.